guys, welcome to today's video. It is uh, warm and balmy out here. I have my winter jacket on, I don't even know why. I'm not dressed for winter at all. Sylvie's got, yeah, barn clothes on. Anyway, uh, welcome to today. Today is Thursday, it's a staying at home day, thank the Lord. Hey, being out all the time is hard. Being like, out doing stuff tomorrow is a busy, crazy day. Hey, Penny Pickle, oh, you just peed. <laughs> Just peed, she heard us, she, she gets so excited, she pees. And that's what I was trying to talk about in yesterday's video. Some horses I feel like pee from excitement, pee from frustration, like Finn. I don't wanna ride, let's pee. <laughs> he uses up the most time he has. <laughs> Isn't it weird though that horses pee smells like apples? Yeah, they should really fix that. I like it, I wish my pee smelled like apples. Right, we are here, we are waiting. Do you have a horse treat? I have a horse treat in my pocket. I have one. Isn't that lucky? See you later, Miss Penny Pickle. Have a good morning. Have a good morning. We at school. Have a good morning. Wow, how low can you go? How low can you go? All right, you guys think I can do it? No. Oh! You touched it. So did Sophie touch it? There was a sale at the tax store. If you buy four bags of a certain kind of grain, you get one for free. So we did it. I told the girls to go up to the house and I would clean the arena and clean the field because I wanted them to get their work done and give them a rest, but that was all a lie, you guys. Everybody lies. There's always an ulterior motive. But basically, when they're gone, I can clean and relax and enjoy the peacefulness of having a barn and horses. And so, yeah, that is my plan. No, I didn't actually lie to them, letting them believe that I was doing this as a favor for them. It's kind of a lie by omission. But that brings me the question. That brings me to the question, do you think white lies are okay? Little lies that you say to make somebody feel good? Or do you always tell the truth no matter what, even if it hurts people? Comment below. I'm interested to see. And I will pick the best comment and feature it in our video because this is something that I'm really curious about. Gabby finally got her uh, results back for her uh, first math test. She did a practice math test and got 80%. Um, 80%. But anyway, she did the exam. Yeah, I got 80%. Yeah, she did the exam and it was so hard. Like this online stuff, so, so, so hard. Anyway, she did it and she passed with flying colors. She got a couple wrong, which is unusual for Gabby. So it's like a whole new journey. But it's math and it's algebra and it's hard and she's just trying to get through it and do the best that she can and she got a really good mark so do you like exams or you'd rather live without them uh, i like them you do like them yeah sophia's underneath the table i just kicked her sophia why are you underneath the table <laughs> no. <laughs> we have really been enjoying having trixie in the kitchen because we get to watch her a lot more She's starting a new shed see her arms are a different color it means that she's about to shed her arms and her legs but one way you can tell that your your bearded dragon is eating well and getting lots of calcium is because she's able to stand up on all her feet like that and hold herself up sometimes if they don't have enough calcium it can really disfigure them and and make a lot of problems you can even see on her face if you look really close, she's got white powder. We add calcium powder to her meals, to her crickets, and then also to her salad. And she loves her salad. She's listening. She's really sweet. One thing that I think is a huge misconception about bearded dragons is that they don't really have like a personality or they don't, they don't have preferences and they don't have like a thought process, but she totally does. She loves me. She loves Sophie. She is very smart, but she's, bearded dragons are very gentle. Like she's very docile and very sweet and likes to cuddle up to you and feel safe. She's still getting used to the dogs running around and making noise and all the kitchen stuff, right? Yeah, she said yes. Did you see that? So, but we've been loving it. We get to watch her moving all the time. We get to watch her eating all the time. Like it's so much better than having her locked up in Sophie's room. Right, Trixie? Right? Oh, so you got my horse. You the Where's the halter? Gabby. Gabby tried to catch my, catch, oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Pen. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to just walk by you. Hey, my Penny Pickle. 
She's my penny pickle. Hi, Gracie girl. All right, let's see. Can Laura catch the mini? Let's see. What do you guys think? You think Laura can catch the mini? Hi, Min. Hmm. Come here. Nope. Can't do it. Come here, little mini Min. You want to go with your friends? Good girl. No. Well, I can help you if you let. <gasps> oh my god, that's scary as heck. What the heck? Oh, you little munchkin. Who remembers that time that. Get going. Who remembers the time she got free when we first got her? The first summer? And Brandon had to catch her for us. Oh my gosh, that was the funniest video. I need to watch that video. If you know what it's called, comment below or send it to me on Instagram so I can watch it because watching him chase her was funny. Look how easy that was. <laughs> <laughs> she ran under the fence. I, <laughs> I hear, uh-oh. <laughs> I wish I saw that. Oh, it was not funny. I was having a heart attack. We'll be back later, girls. Penny, it's your day to walk over the poles. Yeah, Gabby, Gabby turns around, looks, and is like, eh, no big deal. There once was a time when I relied on Gabby always, and she always came to my rescue, saved me. When back when you were young and sweet and energetic, and when you were 11 and 12, and then the dreaded 13 happened. Ellen, I got all my shoes. She chewed my Crocs. Yeah. <laughs> I spent this morning wa uh, cleaning water buckets, getting them ready, because once it gets cold. Okay, so I figured out what these girls are doing. Only so many leaves fall each day, so as soon as we put them back in the mare field, in the winter field, they run to see who can get the leaves before the other ones, because there's only so many. Anyway, my point is that I'm getting ready for winter and getting all the buckets ready again. Get that list out, Sophie. You gotta go in order. There's We're not going in order. You want blueberry pie? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin Apple. pie. Pie. Triple berry crumble. Apple. So it is um, Thanksgiving in Canada. I told you guys Thanksgiving early. Like we have Thanksgiving early in Canada this weekend. So we're getting all the stuff that we needed to make Thanksgiving for our family. Sour cream and onion. Sophie made a list. Dill pickle. And plain. This is why we're in equestrian. So this is the kind of pop that I buy at every holiday. All different flavors so that everybody's satisfied. You guys are both wearing navy. Usually they don't have that kind of pop here. So I'm really glad to find it. So these are shopping down. Super fast. Sophie's super fast. Oh. Look at that! She's such a good pony, you guys. Like this girl, she just did whatever so she just does whatever Sophie wants. Like that's amazing. And over here in this corner is the salt lick that used to be completely flat. And now it has four corners licked out of it. Which we only have three horses, so I do not know who else is coming and licking our salt lick. Okay, so you guys know that Penny's in training to strengthen herself. Come on. Come on, Pen. She's got to go over. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want her to go over the poles. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Ooh, I didn't even have to put a lead rope on her. That's amazing. Come on. Oh, she's skipping them now. All right, I'm gonna put on her lead rope. Got time on our side when I stayed on home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every 
time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place jump anything. As long as it's for carrot. <laughs> as long as it's for carrot. Jump! <gasps> you let go too early. And I swear that we got nothing to fear. It's a miracle that you and I find. Sophie and I just hang out in here and we just spend time with our horses just like chilling and talking and making noise with them and they are literally so comfortable with people hey don't you do it hey I have to get her in trouble hey don't you do it Willow she's bossy to, to poor oh mom about all four like the solid? Yeah. They don't stay in the same spot looking at No, I guess not. That's her spot. Anyway. You're a not yay. Anyway, we enjoy it. We enjoy just sitting down here. We sometimes come down three times a day, four times a day, and just hang out in here and play with them and just like, <laughs> just smelling it. And I just hang out in here. You will be the last one.